Shalom Israel, first and foremost, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. Uh, want to go into this uh, topic. You know, dealing with the uh, so-called flat earth, you know. Um, this isn't a, a sit-down that's directed at any one particular person, although um, this, this brother that, that recently, uh, you know, we had to part ways with because he believes in the flat earth and also isn't open to rebuke about it. You know, he's thoroughly convinced. You know, he's sitting here, you know, he's saying that he's open to rebuke, but while he's, you know, sitting here you know, saying he's open to the rebuke, he's still pushing it. So you're not open to the rebuke if you're not going to hold off on pushing it until, you know what I'm saying, we get all the information out there, you know, which I promised a, a video real, real soon. Here it is. You know, this video is going to be entitled Astronomy because we're not just dealing with the shape of the earth here. You know what I'm saying? We have to understand a lot of things. You know, and astronomy means star arrangement of the stars, you know what I mean, or law of the stars, you know. So, uh, first thing first, I want to say, <clears throat> I want to sympathize with you, you brothers out there that believe in the flat earth, because the white man lies so much and he teaches so much bullshit that he, uh, you know, you, you have no choice but to really uh, factor in and think like, hold up, you know, could this be a lie, could this be true, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't have a problem with you trying to scrutinize everything the white man says. He's a fucking liar. What I have a problem with is you not analyzing everything because this whole flat earth thing is easy to cut. It's really, it's really easy to cut. It just requires someone to actually take the time. You know, because it's a, it's a lot. You know, but, um, you know, Everything the white man teaches is not a fucking lie. You know, by the way, I have the moon, you know, an image of the moon behind me that I ordered. It's glowing the dark moon, you know, but, uh, and, and that's round, which we're going to get into. But, um, in dealing with, uh, with the math mathematical or anything that the white man teaches, for instance, you was taught in school that one plus one equals two. You take a pencil. You add one pencil, that's one plus one. How many pencils you got? You got two. So the white man taught that truth. He taught you how to count, right? You know? Um, a, a, a circle has, it's a 360 degree um, shape, right? You know? A, a, a right triangle has 90 degrees. That's something you're going to figure out or you're going to, agree with no matter what civilization you're dealing with, whether it's Egypt, whether it's the ancient Hebrews that taught the Egyptians during the time of Abraham, uh, math, science and mathematics. So there are things that the so-called white man teaches that are absolutely true. And also you all, you really have to factor in historically. Now let's talk historically. When, you, when you're dealing with history, the so-called white man so-called white man uh, they were the last ones to figure out that the earth was round right the Carthaginians knew the earth was round the Chinese knew the earth was round the Vikings knew the earth was round um, and the Phoenicians I believe I, I don't know if I said the Phoenicians but the Phoenicians the Chinese the Vikings and the Carthaginians all knew the earth was round now what are the, what all these uh, people have in common they're, they're navies. They're, 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 they're uh, over the sea's presence. All right? If you sail, if you had strong sails back then and, and were able to, to create some great ships back then, you would know that the earth was round way before everybody else. So the Greeks didn't know the earth was round and the Romans didn't know the earth was round. Plain and simple. Because they didn't have a way. They weren't the ones sailing all over the place. You know, so that's another place where you stand corrected, brother. The, the flat earth is the white man's doctrine because they're the motherfuckers that believe that shit until they finally started selling and stretching their, their, 
their cells out and saying, okay, you know, if the earth was fucking flat, you know, I would, uh, I would, we, we would have fell off the fucking face of the earth, you know? Now, another thing that I want to go into, um, speaking of which, we want to, we want to separate the facts from the fiction. All right, which actually, you know what? I'm gonna go into some of those things with your scriptures because your scriptures don't prove shit as far as the earth being flat. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go into that later. The the landing on the moon was total bullshit. We know that. You know, there was wind blowing in the fucking, uh, on the flag. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the shit that, 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 that shit was staged. The, the whole flag, the moon landing. Likely America never landed on the moon. I don't believe that shit. So you're preaching to the choir as far as that. Much less a fucking uh, picture of Earth taken from outer space. I don't believe in that shit. You know, I don't, I don't believe... I, I personally don't even... I can't say that we've ever... Mankind has ever been in outer space except for when the Lord <coughs> directly took us. You know, but when you read the scriptures... All right, because you said the, the, the Earth is flat, thus saith the Bible. Which is literally blasphemy. And I'm going to go into it, all right? Another thing, first, first, another thing that you have to understand, when you read the scriptures and you read the word earth, sometimes earth is talking about land, sometimes earth is talking about the, the so-called planet earth. I don't want to call earth a planet because it really isn't. You know, the earth is in a category all by itself. You know, the reason why is because when you read the scriptures, and we're going to go into it, the stars, when it talks about stars, that includes planets. That includes Jupiter and Mars and all that, Mercury. Those are actual planets. And in the scriptures, it goes, it calls them stars. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna go into your scriptures that you pulled. You you had a whole list of scriptures that, that you say uh prove that the Bible, the earth is flat. Well, let, let's get the common understanding on it. First off, this is a piece of paper. For the most part, it's flat. You know, it's bent, you know what I mean? But for the most part, this piece of paper is flat. Right, you can't talk about the earth is this shape with uh, when your ass is gonna walk outside and probably trip over a curb. You know, you know, you know for a fact you have mountains, you have hills, you have canyons, you know, you have the earth has you know different shapes, it's not literally a flat surface. So, you stand corrected on that. The earth is not literally flat, there, there is no thus say the Bible on it. You could go outside, like I said, man, and see a fucking uh, mountain, you know? And also, I want to say this. Just recently, Kyrie Irving came out and apologized for saying the earth was flat. Spiritually, that means you, you, you're you going to have to apologize for saying the earth was flat and making that video. You know, because there's brothers out there that believe it, but they, they know not to teach it, you know? You went out and fucking taught it. That's what's disrespectful to the camp, man. You know, so, so you got, you know... You better get right, man, because that shit you did was fucking off, you know? But anyway, like I said, without further ado, we're going to go into your scriptures and see what the Bible's really saying about the universe, the earth, and all of that. All right, Genesis chapter 1, verse 6, and the, and the Most High said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. What does that prove? That proves that there is a, that does prove that there's an orb, or that there's some type of force holding back the waters from outer space, separating from the waters on Earth. All right, that's that's also called the sky. You know what I'm saying? So you're not off on that. But this doesn't say anything about anything being round or flat. All right. Then you also put Genesis 1 and 14. So let's see. And the Most High said, "Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years." All right, now, here's what the problem is with you using this scripture. <clears throat> here's the problem is with, with, with you using this scripture. What are these lights? The sun and the moon. Now, you can see the sun and the moon with the naked eye. What do they look like? They're round, all right? So that helps destroy your point. You shouldn't, you know, you, you got to be very careful to pull scriptures that's going to cut you. <clears throat> you know, now I wanted to go into a scripture. Let's see. Let's 
a lot. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, verse 16. Oh, because you have verse 14. And the Most High made two great lights, the, the greater light to rule the day and the, and the lesser light to rule the night. So the white man doesn't teach that the moon has its own light. See, you got to separate what the white man says from what the scriptures say and also common sense the thing. The moon has its own light. The white man says that the moon's light is actually the sun reflecting off the moon. The sun's light reflecting off the moon, which is bullshit. The moon has its own light. <clears throat> so, it says, he made the stars also. Now, nowhere in here does he mention planets in, the, in Genesis. So you have to understand, you have to deduct that the stars that it's talking about is actually also talking about, talking about, uh, planets so-called you know planets now the difference is planets move and you also stand corrected about one thing that you said you said um itar that uh that the stars what was it oh that the word planet comes from the word plane that's like saying the word car the word carnivore comes from the word car you know just because the word sounds similar doesn't doesn't mean that it's the same word you know, so you, you have to get an understanding. You know, you, you don't you don't you don't just you, you can't just make up your own shit, you know what I mean? The word planet <clears throat> comes from a uh, a Latin word which means wanderer, which proves that the planets move. Stars don't move. Like like well the the stars the, the planets are stars, but you got stars that, that are like constellations they don't move the north star is always going to be in the north because the earth isn't fucking spinning like the white man told you see there's certain things what you're saying is right but you have to deduct you have to pick the bones out you know what i'm saying you you you, you chew the meat you spit the bones out you didn't do that you just threw the as they say the baby out with the bath water you know you know but moving forward when you read the scriptures and it talks about stars it's also talking about planets the white man says the sun, moon, stars, and planets like they're separate objects. In the scriptures, because you have to understand also that the prophets, they describe things the way they know. Now the white man says, oh, that's a star, that's a black hole, that's a nebula, that's a constellation, that's Orion, that's Orion's belt, that's the North Star. <clears throat> in the scriptures, they just do all of it together and call it Kawakab, which in the Hebrew is star. All right, now what's another scripture you got? Deuteronomy 10 and 14. It says, "Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord thy the Lord's thy power; the earth also, with all that therein is." Nothing saying it's flat. Joshua ten and thirteen. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven. In the middle of the heavens and hasted not to go down about a whole day so obviously it's the norm for the Sun to rise and go down so it's the Sun that's moving the white man teaches that everything revolves around the Sun we don't believe that we believe everything revolves around the earth the Sun goes up and down the moon goes up and down the Sun stays where I mean the, the earth stays where the fuck it's at well, you listed Chronicles 16 and 30. I had to I had to go through the trouble of figuring out which Chronicles because you clearly didn't factor in that there are two books of Chronicles that you have to specify which one's which. So 1 Chronicles 16 and 30, it says, fear, fear before him all the earth, the world also shall be stable that it be not moved. So you use that scripture to prove that the earth is not spinning which we agree with. I never said, and we didn't never say that the earth was spinning. So for you to use that to prove the earth is flat is some pure bullshit. So you gotta, you gotta stick to the script, man. You can't just fucking make up your own shit. And that's what you're doing is making up your own shit. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no jab at you. You know, there's no hatred. You know, but but you need this rebuke, man. Job nine and eight, which alone. Oh wait, wait. Let me let me read back. Which shaketh, salah, which removeth the mountains, and they know not, 
which overturneth them in his anger. Mountains, which proves the earth ain't flat, because what do you got? You got a mountain, a curvature on earth, proving it's not flat, nigga. Which shaketh the earth out of her place, so now the earth can move, if the most high moves it. So, because this literally just contradicts your last point. <clears throat> well, out of the last scripture I just read. It says, and the pillars thereof tremble, which commandeth the sun, and it riseth not. So if the Lord said for the sun not to rise, it won't rise. And sealeth up the stars. The stars re represents what you actually know as stars and the so-called planets. Which alone spreadeth out the heavens and treadeth upon the waves of the sea. So I don't know where, why you use that scripture to prove the earth is flat. See, when you go in and preach a doctrine, you got to stick to the scriptures that actually prove your point. You don't just throw out scriptures just because they mention earth. I have a silly ass goofy look on your fucking face in the in the damn in, in the in the post that had all these all these uh pictures. Looking like a goofy nigga. So it says, Has thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong, and as a molten looking glass? I don't know how that proves the earth is flat. See? You're you're being found to be a liar, man. Not not literally a liar like you intend on lying. I understand what you what you're doing. Why you doing what you're doing, but it's wrong. Nine, Psalms 19 and 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So I'm still trying to figure out how these scriptures mention anything at all about the earth shape, whether it says it's round or flat. <clears throat> Maybe you could clear it up for me. Because you're a novice. You don't even know how to break down the Negroes, West Indians, Hispanics, or Israelites, but you know that earth is flat? Come on, man. Prove to break down the ten tribes, break down. You know? But anyway, Psalms 91, 93, and 1. The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also established that it cannot be moved. So, again, I never said, and none of us ever said, that the earth is spinning. All right? And that's the reason why we have gravity. We don't believe that. That's the white man's science. All right? Psalms 96 and 10. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Again, I still don't see where the, earth, where the flat earth comes into that. Uh, Psalms 102 and 25. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. Still not saying the earth is flat. Okay. Psalms 104 and 2. Who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, who stretcheth out the heavens like a curtain. So it's talking about the heavens, it's not talking about the earth. What are you going to say? Because the curtains are, are square? Like you can't possibly have a, a round curtain? Even though I've never seen one, but it is possible. Like I don't get what... Curtain just means like it's like a covering. You got a shower curtain, that shit stops the water from going outside of the tub. Like... What does that mean? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything as far as proving that the earth is flat. You also have verse 5 in, the, in that thing. You said, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Okay. I, I'm still waiting for one scripture to prove the earth is flat. You still have yet to prove that the earth is flat. Psalms 148 and 10. Wait, is it? Oh, this is shameful. Beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. I guess you meant to say 148 and 11. Kings of the earth and all the people, princes and all the judges of the earth. Let them pray. Uh, you know, okay. So just because the scripture says the word earth, you threw it in there? Is that what you say? Um, Isaiah 38 and 8. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which is gone down in the sundial of Ahaz 10 degrees backwards, so the sun is 10 degrees, by which degrees it was gone down. So it's talking about the sun, not the earth. The sun is round, by the way. Now here's one of the stupidest things you did. <coughs> In your list of scriptures, you listed a scripture that cuts your ass. Psalms, uh, Isaiah 40 and 22. 
It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and the, he the heavens are stretched out as a curtain. So if you want to say curtains are square, he's talking about the heavens, not the earth. And spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Talking about the heavens. You know, so, um, Isaiah 44 and 24. I still haven't seen one thing pre proven that the earth was flat. Apologize, just like Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, you know, it's spiritual. I didn't even realize I was wearing a Kyrie Irving jersey. I literally didn't. Actually, if you see a lot of my sit-downs, I'm wearing a Kyrie Irving jersey because I'm a Boston, uh, my, my, my basketball team is Boston. That's spiritual. Um, Isaiah 44 and 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Still don't see where it's even alluding to the earth being flat, but okay. Isaiah 45 and 12. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their host have I commanded. Nothing about the shape of the earth, though. Verse 18, same chapter. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, most high, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Nothing about the shape of the earth. Isaiah 48 and 13. Mine hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens, when I call unto them, they stand up together. See, you, you, my man, Itar, Daniela, are wasting fucking time. You still, you didn't go through your own scriptures. You just said, you just went through a, a, a concordance and looked up all the scriptures that say the word earth. And you're cutting yourself. Jeremiah 10 and 12. Because now I got to go through every single one of your scriptures to show you how you're full of shit. Or what you, you, what you believe in is full of shit as far as the earth being flat. Jeremiah 10 and 12. He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. So I guess you're saying because they're stretching out the heavens. I don't know. I don't get why. I, I, don't, I don't get the, the purpose for your scripture. I notice a lot of them say stretching out the heavens. That doesn't have anything to do with the shape of the earth, my man. Now, let's see. Um, Jeremiah 49 and 36. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of, the, of heaven and scatter them toward all those winds and there shall be no nation whether the outcast of Elam shall not come. See, like these scriptures don't even mention the earth. Like, really. Like, you're, you're, you're a novice. Brother, you're a novice. And for you to go around teaching other men that the earth is flat, knowing that you're... Because you try to say that you wasn't sneaking behind our back teaching some other shit. If that was the case, then your father wouldn't have said that he believes it. And the brother in your car in the video last week where you was being disrespectful wouldn't have been saying the same thing. You obviously have been teaching it behind our fucking backs. And that shows you what type of man you are. You know, you can repent from it. But that shows you what type of man you've been. Repent. Because we can't trust you around the younger men if that's how you're going to be, man. Um, Ezekiel 7 and 2. Also thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God of unto the land of Israel, at an end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. The land, not the earth. See, you have to separate the earth from the land. All right? I'm going to go into something here real quick. If, if you create a big mound of dirt, right, you create a man-made hill, and you put millions of ants upon that, that, uh, that mound of dirt, those millions of ants are going to take that, are, are going to walk around that dirt, that mound of dirt, and although we see clearly that it's round, to them it's flat. They're walking normal. They don't think, oh, at some point, you know, like they, they think it's flat to them. That's the same way man is upon earth. That's why you, 
showed some stupid ass pictures of people on fucking vacation taking pictures out, of, out the fucking window of the airplane and say, see, the earth is flat. Of course, from earth, you're gonna, that's what you're going to see. And you, you even said, you cut your fucking self with this shit. You said the earth is flat with a round orb over it. So what does that mean? The earth is round. That orb is part of the earth. And who's to say the earth, the, that same orb doesn't go around under it? You have no proof either way. The earth is round, man. See, you got to separate the white man's bullshit. Like, for example, when you buy a, a, a globe, right? Like one of those globes that they had in, in, in history class or whatever. Geology, geometry, ge geography. That, that round globe that you spin around, that shit is not the way the earth is. The earth is lands, and there's a whole bunch of sky up, up, up on top of it. If you literally take the earth, just the land that's on earth, and you separate the atmosphere, I can agree it's not round. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's flat either, though. But the atmosphere around it makes it a circle, makes it round. That's, that's common sense, man. Let's go to the book of Daniel, since, you're, since your last name is Daniela, right? You want to be a fucking scholar and you want to go against the men that taught you, you better know you what the fuck you're doing. Daniel 4 and 11. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, and the sight thereof to, to the end of all the earth. So I guess what you're going to say, knowing you, Salah, What you're going to say is that the earth, um, because you're able to see the entire earth from the tree, that makes no sense. And I'm going to tell you why that makes no sense. The tree grew in the... Because you could see, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, when, when you look, first off, there's literally no tree you could, that's that fucking high that you can see everything. Number one. Number two... This is talking about the land, not literally the whole earth. You have to separate when it's talking about land and it's literally talking about the, the so-called planet earth. All right? You don't know what you're doing, man. I'm going to go into the scripture. Thus were the visions of mine head in my bed. So this is a dream he's talking about. And I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth and the height thereof was great. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. All right? So that literally just means it could see all through through all these lands. It still doesn't make it, it still doesn't mean that you could literally like I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't get what you're trying to say with that scripture. That's like there's another scripture that says that that Satan took Yahweh up on a mountain and he saw all the kingdoms of the earth. So that literally makes you think, oh, you know, just like John the Revelator saw all the kingdoms of the earth himself, too. Are you saying he saw it literally? You know what I mean? Like, you, you make no sense, man. Zechariah 12 and 1. Zechariah. I will say this. In English, if you, if you take it at face value, like it's talking about the whole planet earth, that's your best scripture. And that still doesn't prove it because you got to get the understanding on it. Zechariah 12 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretched forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Okay, so I guess there's a common theme in some of these scriptures too where you're talking about the foundation of the earth. And you're saying the foundation is like a flat surface. You know, which doesn't, it doesn't mean that. Just like how you have a baseball, right? You have the leather thing on the outside with the stitches on it. You take that apart, then you got a little, uh, a thing, uh, basically a string, a ball, a ball, a little ball, a little cork with strings around it. All right. So you have layers. That that little cork is the foundation. That's the thing that gives that that shapes the baseball to begin with. And then you have the string that 
whole bunch of string around it, and you've got the leather thing that which is stitched together, the baseball is still around. I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm trying not to call you stupid, but you're saying a lot of stupid shit. All right, now we're going to go to, because you didn't have any apocrypha scriptures. Funny, funny you should do that. But anyway, Matthew 4 and 8. And what that shows you too, that you don't have no apocrypha scriptures proving your point, it also means that whoever the fuck taught you this bullshit is, is somebody that's not even in the truth. You, learn, you, you Googling shit, flat earth, oh, here's the scriptures, boom. Because you're not going to find apocrypha scriptures. They're trying to block that out. But anyway, Matthew 4 and 8. Here's the one where I was just talking about. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all, Salah, all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. So I guess you're going to say that literally is talking about he's going to, he, that Satan showed Yahusha or the devil showed Yahusha literally everything on the highest mountain possible, which <coughs> I believe the highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. And even with that one, you can't see the whole world. So sometimes you have to get a little spiritual and really delve into the spirit of things and the understanding, not just take it at face value and say, oh, it says this, so it means this. Um... Acts 10 and 11. You don't even have anything else in the Gospels. These are all your scriptures that are meeting, my friend. Now, I know, now I don't believe that you're going to repent from, from this. I hope you do. And I'm leaving the door open for you to do it. But I, I'm not doing this, this video for you. I'm doing this video to edify those out there that can be salvaged from your bullshit. All right, Acts 10 and 11. And saw heaven open and a certain vessel descending unto him as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth. Let me guess. So because, because it's, it's pictured as a square sheet that's brought down to the earth, it, has to, it means that the earth is flat. I assume that's what you're talking about. Acts 11 and 5. I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, a certain vessel descend, and it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners. So that means it's like a great sheet. Now, you know, perhaps there's angels holding it down by each corner, or whatever. It's a square sheet, and it came even to me. I don't know what you think you're proving with that, but you're not. I'm almost done with your, with your scriptures, by the way. Young man. Second Peter three and five. For this they willingly are ignorant of. Exactly. You're you you you're willingly ignorant of the earth being round.